favorite here in Kevin Blackwood. If you thought that last match had a lot of hard striking, uh, get ready for Kevin Blackwood because it is all hard hitting with him. I don't think we're going to see the same aerial maneuvers that we saw in the previous match, but we're definitely going to see strikes to match that previous match with Kevin Blackwood and Timothy Thatcher coming up. Smash fans very familiar with Timothy Thatcher. He's held titles all over Great Britain and Japan and Germany and of course North America. NXT is where probably most mainstream fans will have seen him. Really looking forward to seeing this match with Timothy Thatcher going up against Kevin Blackwood. It's a fascinating one to me because stylistically once the bell rings, these guys are fairly similar. A lot of striking, a lot of grappling. I, I'm sure there's a healthy respect, but how they come about it personality-wise, these guys could not be more different. Also notable here, Thatcher with a pretty good size advantage on Blackwood. So when it comes to that striking game, uh, maybe a little bit more power come from him. Blackwood's going to have to be on with the precision and the speed that he usually brings to the striking game. Blackwood definitely no stranger to being the underdog size-wise in matches. I don't think he's going to be intimidated by Timothy Thatcher. This will be a strike fest as we keep promoting. These two guys feeling each other out here. They're going to start with a little bit of the grappling side headlock from Thatcher. See, this is where the size advantage will come in handy. You can see Thatcher putting all his weight down on Kevin Blackwood in that headlock. Yeah, Blackwood getting a foot on the back of the leg to try to alleviate the pressure, take some of that squeeze off his ear. That's how you get cauliflower ear down the line. Oh, and there you see the strength. Right away, Blackwood firing off the ropes, and Thatcher knocks him to his butt with a shoulder. Blackwood trying to regroup here in the corner. Yeah, Thatcher's already playing with his ear. He, Blackwood yeah. definitely had that side headlock cinched in pretty good. If, if even Timothy Thatcher's going to show you, yeah, yeah, you kind of got me a little bit. Thatcher and Blackwood have faced each other once before at West Coast Pro with Thatcher coming out on top. So you know Blackwood's going to be looking to even up the score here. Nice technique there from Blackwood, taking Thatcher to the ground. He's going to put himself in some risk there. But yeah, not maybe a body scissors, but looking for an arm bar instead. Blackwood tilting the leverage to make sure Thatcher had to release because of the pin. A lot of smart wrestling on display here. Neither man really gaining much of an advantage of Thatcher to take a spill to the outside. Probably smart on Thatcher's part to regroup. Blackwood not going to follow him out there, going to keep it inside. Feeling each other out, and there's a front headlock from Kevin Blackwood. Thought maybe he was going to try to take that to the ground. Didn't have quite the, the strength to do it. He rolls, switches behind, picks the leg. We are heading into uh, Olympic season. This isn't exactly, you know, Greco-Roman freestyle <laughs> wrestling, but it's, uh, it's a pretty good display of chain wrestling early on here. It is, and this is very smart of Blackwood to ground Timothy Thatcher and continue to gain the upper hand. The size advantage a little less meaningful on the ground. Obviously, Thatcher with a longer reach, longer limbs down here, but Blackwood can neutralize it to some degree. Thatcher better be careful that his shoulders, all right, he got him up, and now he's grabbing the ropes to break the hold. Nice leg lock from Blackwood to force Thatcher onto oh. his shoulder blades there. It gives him a little, little love tap to the chest. All right, all right. There was a little mutual respect before, and now maybe things are getting a little more interesting. Shoots for a single there. Thatcher has it scouted him, and Blackwood's oh, wow. down on his stomach. Ah, oh, and there you go. You see, Thatcher gets the advantage, and not only is he bigger and stronger here to put his weight on him, but that elbow to the middle of the back, so Blackwood has to kind of bridge up, and then his neck's exposed. Thatcher is incredibly smart. Everything with a purpose down here, and you've got kind of a modified surfboard. He is a master at those fundamentals. And, and just pushing so the strong. ref out of the way. Yeah. Oh, Blackwood oh. rolls out of the surfboard, though, into a cover. Smart move by Blackwood. 
and right back to a front headlock. Takes him over for a cover. Just a two count there. Block put, fighting a really smart fight so far and rolls him up. Just yep. a two there too. I've been impressed with Blackwood so far, really kind of staying even with Timothy Thatcher. And here's another thing that, you know, as as much as Thatcher may have the speed advantage, Blackwood is a cardio machine. So if he can he keep is. Thatcher uh, kind of on the defensive like that, maybe the longer this thing goes on, Blackwood gets a little bit more of an advantage. He's going to let Thatcher catch his breath here, though. Doesn't want to get into a, a street fight with Thatcher outside the ring. The two still kind of feeling each other out a little, it seems. Here we go. Thatcher just looks mean. He looks he always looks mean, but he looks like he's really had enough there. Blackwood trying to engage in a collar and elbow, but Thatcher taking him right back down. I think Thatcher's getting a better understanding of what he needs to do to take down Kevin Blackwood and now trying to put it into practice. Bit of a cross face into a vice there. Blackwood trying to work the fingers to get out of it, alleviate that pressure. So many different ways to be Thatcher and Kevin Blackwood can hurt you. Looked like he was going for a roll up. Tried to turn it into a leg bar instead, but Thatcher just dropping down to meet him. And yeah, there you go. You can see that one coming. Blackwood and going for that hole leaves his left side exposed and Thatcher smacks all of it. It worked. He let loose of that hold. Yeah, Blackwood getting to the ropes quick. Thatcher wasn't even necessarily going for that ankle lock or, or that potential half crab there, but Blackwood's smart to scramble to the ropes. Big blow to the back from Thatcher. Just the way Thatcher is looking down at Blackwood. Trying to intimidate him, it seems. And you can't let him get an advantage. You can't let him sense a weakness or, or expose your your the whole side of yourself like that on the mat. This is a guy who I saw him staring at a wall earlier, and I asked him, what are you doing? He said, I'm looking for weaknesses. So if in, you're, in the wall? Yeah, in a, just a plain wall, nothing hanging on it, nothing like that. So uh, that's the type of fighter he is. Uh, always looking for an advantage, always looking for a weakness. Kevin Blackwood can't leave himself exposed like that. Look, Kevin Blackwood is a veteran. He's been around. He's faced some of the top competition around. He is not going to be intimidated by Timothy Thatcher, but it just may be the strength and power of Thatcher that might be too much for Kevin Blackwood to overcome. We'll have to see. Going to use a bit of that power and vertical suplex there. Blackwood feeling that all the way through his spine. Thatcher slow to make that cover there. All of his weight on top of Blackwood when he made it though, and then on the kick out right into this wrist lock. Still didn't kick out until two, so. Yeah, and the, this is another small thing like this the knee right over the head and ear there. Blackwood gets to the ropes, but he's going to get four seconds there of grinding that knee into Blackwood's head. And I asked Thatcher too, I only got two questions in with him because he's not a chatty guy. No. I said, why don't you wear knee pads? He said, why would I put pillows on weapons? Ooh, I like that. It's a pretty good one. It is. But that's it. That's all I got out. I tried to ask a third question. He just kind of grunted at me. So, uh, you know, th this, he was all focused before the match, as you'd expect with a, an opponent as good as Kevin Blackwood. He, he is as close as you can get to a pure fighter. And there you go. Blackwood able to get a little bit of space there. Two big kicks to the chest and then one to the lower half to take Thatcher's base away from him. Oh! Ouch! Ouch. Now, Thatcher Vicious. might not have knee pads. It's a damn good thing Blackwood has kick pads. Yeah, I think those pillows somewhat soften the blow. <laughs> it also saves Blackwood, too, right? You don't it want to does. deliver too many of those strikes unprotected. And now, that this time, Blackwood's going to follow Thatcher to the outside, trying to maintain the momentum. But Thatcher goes right for a wrist lock, pushes him into the ring post to get a breather. I think Thatcher might be getting a little frustrated here, throwing Blackwood into the post. And hey, it's, it's fine on the outside of the ring, but it, you do see a, a shift in tone here from Blackwood. The first couple times Thatcher took a spill to the outside for a breather, Blackwood let him go. Hey, let's come back in, let's stand this up. This time trying to take a, a little bit more advantage, it backfires there. You have to wonder if Thatcher was not expecting this kind of fight to be put up by Kevin Blackwood, and now he's pulling out a few more stops, starting on the outside of the ring here. Thatcher, I'm sure, familiar with Blackwood's reputation. Uh, like you said, they, they've wrestled each other before, and Blackwood's only got better since then. Only got more tattooed since then as well. He comes by that nickname, the Aesthetic Crippler, honestly. <laughs> it's funny, I have as many tattoos as he does. I, I don't get called cool names like that, but I also can't 
punch and kick and elbow like he does. Fair enough. A lot of music overlap, me and Kevin Blackwood, too. So I'm in a hot mulligan shirt earlier today for anyone who, for the three people who will get that reference. Thatcher with a knee across the throat here, arguing with the referee, and this is very smart. The referee can't do the count while Thatcher's arguing with him, so he gets a little extra time with that shin across the throat, and Blackwood struggling here to catch his win. Thatcher with a, a smirk on his face. He knows he's got Blackwood exactly where he wants him. Big whip into the corner there from Thatcher. Try to get some momentum going here. Just runs into him shoulder first. No technique to that, just nope. here's my body, boom. Deal with it. Fire him into the other corner now. Same kind of thing, Blackwood has it. That windmill. <laughs> Blackwood rolls out of the way this time and right back to the strike. And you see Blackwood hit him with a left forearm there and where Thatcher had been working over that arm a little earlier. Seemed to, and he's favoring it here even as yeah. he goes for the cover. Just two there. That's really something to watch as this one continues. Blackwood's left wrist and forearm from those repeated arm locks and, the, of course, the, the ring post. But Blackwood uh, going well. back and forth between the forearm strikes and the kicks, really showing Thatcher some different looks here. Might have to, you know, usually a pretty ambidextrous striker, might have to go a little more right heavy here. And, and Thatcher with those ribs exposed. Yeah, well, pull it, knuckles pull. digging in. <laughs> We talked about Thatcher looking for advantages. I, I wonder, did some did Thatcher do something in his ribs that has Blackwood attacking it now? Maybe, but he was taking a page out of Thatcher's book. Blackwood was. Ooh. Thatcher getting maybe a little frustrated the way he threw Blackwood down to the mat. Well, the frustration pays off the big arm whip there to take Blackwood down to the mat. Oh, and he is uh, he's yep. letting the crowd know. It's not a beauty contest. He says, oh! oh! That is a... That is going to slow Kevin Blackwood down. That he is, is a nasty... That shoulder. Yeah, a nasty arm breaker there with the foot to the face as you dive backward. That one's got to be hurting in three or four different spots, but especially, again, that left arm of Blackwood. Blackwood rolled out to try to buy himself some time, but Thatcher right back on him. As him leaned over the top rope here from the apron, he's just... To lean into him with these arm strikes. Wow. Thatcher not letting up on Kevin Blackwood, now trying to bring him back into the ring. Bit of a delay there into the vertical suplex back in. That definitely took a little more out of Kevin Blackwood. Thatcher now going for the cover. Just two there. Interesting thing to know too, and right back to the left arm, I was going to say when Blackwood tries to kick out, if he's pushing Thatcher off, well, Thatcher had all his weight on Blackwood's left side there. So even the arm, Thatcher, every, everything he does has intention, even making the cover from that side, uh, very intentional from Thatcher. And he's right back to the, trying to go to work on that left arm here. He is, and even you saw him striking the left shoulder to try oh, to soften up Blackwood. There it is, yep, now he's got go. an arm bar. Blackwood able to get a foot to the ropes though. Good job by the referee being right on that rope break. And good ring awareness from Blackwood, even as he was fighting off Thatcher's armbar attempt there, inching himself a little closer to the ropes just in case. Yeah, great point. He knew exactly where he was and used those ropes to his advantage. And here you go. We see Blackwood again trying to go to those ribs. First with a, a body shot and then a knee. And now he's got an opening here. And here's the striking. I think to, uh -huh. your, po to your point, and there, yep, that left side. Blackwood going for the Irish whip, but the left arm not strong enough here. Has to float over Thatcher there in the corner attack. Big spinning elbow. And that's where Blackwood has a little bit of an advantage. Corner drop kick. Wow, that stunned Timothy Thatcher. The left arm might hurt, but it's not going to slow you down speed-wise. Going for the cover, but has to cover with the right. Just two. There again, little things. You see it. He has to switch the direction of his cover there because that left arm's giving him too much trouble. Yep, that was uh, very observant on your part, Blake. Could be the difference between a two and a three there. These quick kicks to the head of Timothy Thatcher and a big oh. chop. Thatcher looked rattled briefly, but now he comes back with a forearm uppercut. Wow. Blackwood with a bit of a smile on his face, shaking his head no. Oh. I think both men kind of enjoy the pain. 
up to an extent. I'm sure Blackwood's left arm doesn't feel great right now, but yeah, teeing off with a kick to the head there. Oh, and Thatcher looking to go right back to that left arm. Blackwood rolls through it, and a right instead. Vicious forearm, and now into the suplex. Oh, Brainbuster style. Brainbuster, style. wow. Going for the cover. Just two for Blackwood there. Thatcher Staying on the offensive the though, out. he's gonna go right back at it. Wants the crowd behind him here. Both these guys' favorites in Smash, but. Yep, Blackwood really trying to feed off that energy from the Smash crowd, going to the top rope. Left arm even giving him a little trouble pushing it just, just with his own weight as he tries to get to the top rope. That gives Thatcher an opportunity to cut him off here, maybe looking for a superplex. He caught him. Blackwood able to fight it off using his right arm to stabilize himself. Again, going to those rib shots. Doing whatever he can to avoid that superplex. Thatcher right back up though, cutting Blackwood off again. And a big forearm. And again with the rib shots to Blackwood. Both these guys so smart. You give them just an inch and they'll attack any sort of weakness. Blackwood's left arm, Thatcher's ribs. It's a little bit of desperation oh. too. Looking for a sunset bomb. Thatcher initially grabs onto the ropes, but Blackwood has the power. What a power bomb from Kevin Blackwood on Timothy Thatcher. Sizing that him up now. Big wow. kick in the corner. And Blackwood's going to go back up top. He's now got he'll Thatcher be able down. To execute. Here we go. Double stop. Blackwood with the cover. Is this it? Yes! Kevin Blackwood! What an impressive, impressive victory from the aesthetic crippler over Timothy Thatcher here at Smash Wrestling. And even the series between these two up at 1-1, I imagine you're in agreement, would love to see a rubber match. 100%. And I'll tell you about Kevin Blackwood, if he keeps up with these kinds of wins against top level competition like Timothy Thatcher, he is also gonna be another one to find himself in the world championship picture. And keeping with that thought, July 14th in London at the Forest City Fight Night, he's got Brent Banks, who was a big participant in that Northern tournament, went to the finals of that event. You beat a guy like Brent Banks, that puts you further on the radar as well. That is gonna be a match to look forward to for uh -oh. sure. Oh, Thatcher Timothy. coming back in the ring. Yeah, he might not be done with Kevin Blackwood here. That was an intense battle. Blackwood's ready to defend himself here, expecting Thatcher to go for a round two. I'm ready for it. Crowd's ready for it, chanting both these guys. Thatcher wants some silence. Extending the hand. That's great to see. Gotta love seeing the sportsmanship, especially after such a physical battle like the one we saw here between Thatcher and Blackwood. Timothy Thatcher is asking for a mic. Hey, 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 hey. <coughs> bear, bear with me, my ribs are. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> hey. Say that again. I'm not one to do this, but I have something important I need to say. <laughs> wow, having trouble getting the words out. I've known a man here for a long time. And he's the guy who's your hero here. He's the Smash Champion. So Psycho Mike, please, please, at some point, I don't know when, but we need to share this ring. Wow. Man, a few words, but Timothy Thatcher wants Psycho Mike at some point. Not asking for a title shot, just wants to be in the ring with Psycho Mike. 
Don't well, know how a body slam would feel on those ribs right now, but but maybe uh, a little down the line. We, we talked about Kevin Blackwood getting himself into the title picture, to your point, not necessarily for a title match, but man, love to see Timothy Thatcher back and a match against Psycho Mike would be huge. And speaking of titles, we got a big one coming up in our main event.